Stimulus enables you to capture a specification including architecture, interfaces, state machines and texture requirements and to simulate it by applying various use cases. When testing the specification, you will find errors such as this conflict between requirements. Using observers, you can also verify that the behaviour of the detailed specification complies with the system specification or with the safety requirements. All this also applies to the real system. Just put the compile code or an FMU in the object under test. For this execution generated by stimulus, the code meets its specification. However, with regards to the functional coverage, the coverage of the requirements is not complete. You can either multiply the executions for this use case or use the test campaign function of stimulus to apply a whole set of different use cases automatically to the object under test. The green boxes that generated the inputs have moved to the right where you find the list of scenarios that constitute the campaign. For each scenario, you can define how many test cases you actually want to run. Let's open one of these scenarios. We find the two previous use cases, one that constrains the input light intensity, the other that constrains the switch. Let's run the test campaign. Stimulus automatically generates the desired test vectors for each of the scenarios, applies them to the system, here a DLL containing the code to be tested, and observes whether the specification is met or not. On the left, you see for each scenario the functional coverage with the details for each of the requirements. Of course, you also see that the requirement headlight shall be on has been violated. On the right, you see the interesting executions. For example, this one violating a requirement. The violation occurred during the 13th generated test case at cycle 26. If you click on this button, Stimulus shows you the corresponding execution directly and the location in the specification of the violated requirement.